Yo, what up, Booyah Nation? It's your boy, Double A Nine Skills. And in before y'all think I'm here to just bash the game and bash EA, I'm not. I'm actually here to praise them a little bit with a little bit of bashing and kind of give you some updates I've been seeing about price range. And all right, before we jump into the action, yo, if you want Ultimate Team Coins, check out the link in the description down below for utcointraders.com and use the code A9 for a 5% discount. Now, guys, price range has been all over the place. Ever since Team of the Season's been out, people have been struggling to sell their players. Actually, you know what? People have been struggling to sell everything, to be honest with you. I want to say a few things. First of all, price ranging, even though I bashed it for a really long time, it's actually a really, really good thing. Did it get rid of coins? No. But is it a good thing? It is. And I'm going to explain why in this video. Also, there is some changes coming to price range. And I saw Rob Hudson, who is a person who works at YouTube, represent, uh, not YouTube, excuse me, works at EA, represents EA. And he said that there's a lot of big changes coming to, you know, prices, range it, players' ranges, and all that stuff for Team of the Season updates. Now, here's the problem with price ranging, boys. Unless they get some type of automated system, this thing is going to be extremely hard to make it work because players just don't sell. For example, my Neuer has been on my transfer market forever. I've talked to other YouTube and they say they've gotten to the point where they're discarding Neuer's. That's incredible. Discarding the best goalkeeper in the game, if not the best, then the second best. Santi Cazula is the best cam in the game for me right now. Probably the best cam in the game, period, for me right now. And he doesn't sell. And that's just insane because Santi's a monster. I got a bunch of duplicate Santis that can't sell. And I'm just like, how is this possible when he's one of the best? Now, with that being said, boys, the, the, the reason this thing is good is because I've looked at the Xbox prices. And now, if you win Division 1 a few times, you can actually build an incredible team on Xbox One. Because price ranging is so... Yo, focus, focus, mother sucker. Yo, because price, price ranging is so... It, it works so well with bringing the prices down on Xbox... Now when you win a division a few times or win a tournament a few times, you could buy players like Modric and, and all the great players in the game, you can afford them now. They're affordable to anybody. And yes, that's what price ranging was supposed to do. But here's the problem. Nobody sells. Nobody sells on Xbox. So the positive to price ranging is players are extremely cheap. The, the negative to it is when you throw $80 worth of FIFA points into the game, you're not getting your money back. Now, you never get your money back because it's virtual cards, but you usually make coins in the game. Like, when you're opening packs and you hit Ribery or Robin, you're like, because <gasps> you're excited because you just made coins to last you for a long time in FIFA and to build a lot of teams. Now, when you hit Robin and stuff, you're like, <gasps> I could build a team with him because that's all you can do with him. You're not really going to sell him. I use Robin for an example, but when I was on, on Xbox, I saw nobody was really selling. And if they did sell, it was for their minimum. And it's it's just not a good look because that, that makes FIFA points literally pointless. FIFA points are pretty much pointless because people are throwing their 80, 50, 20, whatever dollars into the game. And they never get anything in return because everything they pack, they must keep. So they really can't play the game that way. Now, for a casual person who plays the game and just wins tournaments and uses FIFA, doesn't use FIFA points, the game is amazing for you. But for people who do use FIFA points, the game is pointless for you because when you buy the FIFA points, unless you pack something amazing, it's pretty much all pointless. So anyways, anyways, there's big changes coming from what Rob Hudson said to, to price changes, uh, uh, to players' prices. I think personally, man, for this to work, they have to update this. They need either auto an auto up update thing that's constantly updating or they need to update every single day and I just don't think that EA has the manpower to be sitting there adjusting prices every single day but that's what they need now I was 100% against price ranging from the get-go but now I'm kind of for it because I saw how much the prices went down but they need to figure out how to way to adjust the players all the time and again boys we're not even talking the coin situation anymore because as you can see, the coin situation is a problem in its own. These guys that own coin websites and stuff, they're going to constantly find a way to try to go around it because it's too profitable of a business. You see what I'm saying? So when, when people see that they're making money, a lot of money on something, they're going to attempt to keep trying to figure out how to break into it or whatever. And that's what the coin websites are doing. And 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 Price Ranger was good for the game. But it didn't take, it didn't fix the problem. Let me know how you guys feel about it in the comments down below. Um, I was against it. I'm kind of for it now. I'm 50-50 I'm, I'm with the whole thing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yo, if you did, smash a big old thumbs up. Break that thumbs up, Booyah Nation. Make sure to smash that, that subscribe button too. And uh, yeah, man, thanks for the constant support. I love you guys. And that's my opinion on price ranging and all that. Stay tuned for the Rob Hudson update. Hopefully, hopefully they get these price ranges right next time and everything sells. So hope you guys enjoy. Booyah. I'm out of here. See you soon. High five.